Welcome to Radiant Reflections, an audio transformative journey hosted by me, Rob Cook. I hope today's topic inspires you to have the day you deserve. Welcome to day 29, Silence. Silence is truth, silence is bliss, silence is peace, and hence silence is the self. Ramana Maharshi I was deployed to the largest humanitarian airfield in Iraq. And at the time, we would receive what would you call indirect fire attacks. In this one particular moment, we were being walked in, which is a strategy by the enemy. Because their weapons aren't as sophisticated as ours, they would have to fire an ordinance, see where it exploded, and then adjust real time. And while that may have seemed dangerous, it did give us an opportunity to respond as a unit, but it also put us in danger. And so when you would be getting walked in, you knew that they were making real-time adjustments. And after each time that you're walked in and the explosions occur, you have to do a security sweep of the area. And this particular time, it started out as then a couple of steps. I noticed the ordinance launched into the ground, and it was buzzing. And immediately, me and the other airmen that I went took off running for the bunker. And so we called it in, and of course, the explosive ordinance disposal unit needed us to flag it so that they can come and do what it is that they do. They attach a, an explosive to it and blow it up so it doesn't be of harm to anyone else. And I remember uh, the rules of engagement for this is that the youngest ranking airman or the lowest ranking airman, they're the person who goes out and tag this. But when I saw the fear in the young airman eyes, I was just like, give me the flag. It was kind of like I knew it. It was a part of leadership. It was a part of being being who I was to them as their flight chief. And I remember walking out. And as I got closer, my heart rate just got louder and louder and louder. And I was standing over the ordinance that didn't explode. And there was just complete silence. Tears began to fall from my eyes because the thought in my head was that if this ordinance had exploded, I wouldn't be here today. And I just cried. But the silence was so, so different from anything I'd ever heard before. That's how loud it was that I could hear it was silent. And it ultimately changed my life. There are moments that you probably have been in silence. And I want you to write about it. Write about what you learned in that just deep, deep space and see if you can go back there and draw inspiration from it. I love you.